Hello friends, this video on chemical effects of current part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So while we are talking about this, let us talk about a very interesting thing, the lemon battery. What is this lemon battery? Now we all know that cells can be used as a source of electric current. But did you ever know that lemons can also be used as a source of electric current? Just see what happens here. Just try to take a bulb and attach its start take two wires and attach the positive and the negative terminal of the bulb to the lemon so you dip it inside the lemon on the other hand you take an led and just put it the led will have two legs one longer and the other one shorter so they represent the positive and the negative terminals so just insert this led inside the lemon what do you see you will find that the bulb doesn't glow so when the bulb doesn't glow what information do you get? That maybe lemon is not providing a circuit because here if you look at it, you do not have a separate battery. Like in the previous circuits, you had a battery. So here there is no battery. So when you fix the bulb to with the wires to this lemon, the bulb doesn't glow. So we feel this, yes, of course, because there is no source of current, there is no battery. That is why the bulb is not glowing. But actually, that is not the case because when you put insert an LED, the LED glows, which shows that there is a source of current. And what is that source of current? That is nothing but the lemon itself. But the thing is, lemon is able to provide current, but it provides insufficient current to glow the bulb because the bulb needs more current to glow because you need good amount of current to heat the filament enough to produce heat and light. So, it, lemon is a source of electric current, lemon acts as a battery but it cannot produce that much of current as a battery can produce. That is why this LED which needs a very little amount of current to be blown, so when this is inserted into the lemon, it glows. So th that's the beauty of lemon, so lemon can act as a battery as well and that is what we refer as lemon battery. So the current out of the lemon battery is too small to glow the bulb, however it can very well glow the LED that is the light emitting diode. So we call it light emitting diode. So if you want you can perform this experiment yourself and see the beauty of lemon battery. So based on whatever we have discussed so far, what did we learn? Now some of the things that we learned about the electric safety because we saw that uh, a lot of substances are good conductors and a lot of substances are poor conductors. So the one thing is keep electric wires away from water. Now when I say water, I don't mean distilled water. Water means the tap water, the normal drinking water or the tap water. So they are not all distilled water. So they do contain salts in them. But that doesn't mean that the water is harmful for us because even salts are useful to our body. To, to a particular extent. So the normally whenever we talk about water, we are talking about the normal tap water which is a good conductor of electricity. So we should make sure that the electric wires are always away from water because if electric wires are in touch with water, water being a good conductor, it will allow electric current to pass through it. So therefore the chances of getting electric shock will be more. So you should be very careful while touching electric appliances. Never touch plugged in electric appliances or open electric sockets or the electric outlets with wet hands because when your hand contains water, water is a good conductor. So water will conduct electricity so your body, I mean electric current will pass through your body and you will feel electric shock. So that is another important thing. Now the chances of electric shock is more when your hands are wet. So let us see what are some of the measures that can be taken for electric safety. Now as I said that we should ensure that the electrical outlets are out of reach of children. So for that purpose either they should not be constructed very at a smaller height so that uh, the sh children are not able to reach them very easily or otherwise what can be done is there are electrical outlet safety caps which are available. So these caps can reduce the risk of electrical shocks. So this is how the caps look like. So if you see these outlets instead of being open, so here you can see it is all open. So Children can actually try to insert their fingers inside these outlets. 
but here the caps are present so it is little difficult for them to remove the caps and then insert their fingers so that means these caps help and these caps are made up of materials which are poor conductors of electricity like plastics mostly they are made up of plastics and plastics do not conduct electricity so the chances of getting shock reduces in fact people should also use these gloves the rubber gloves should be used by electrician to ensure more safety while they are working with electrical circuits or electrical appliances so again here also rubber is being a poor conductor it doesn't allow electricity to pass through them thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again so now 